Hello guys, my name is Michal and I'm glad you're back. Welcome to the Python tutorial for beginners. In today's session, we're going to talk about your first script in the Python. So sit back, relax and let's start. So, before we move on, let's uh, verify your Python installation. In the previous video, I showed you how to install the Python using the homebrew for macOS version and uh, the different way how to do it in Windows. So in order to continue, let's check out the Python version in your computer. Again, this tutorial will be covering uh, the MacBook well, but uh, the way how to verify it and how to code it is exactly the same for Windows and for Linux. Before we started, I want to mention that during the whole session, we're going to use Visual Studio Code as our main text editor. But feel free to use anything you want, but I highly recommend Visual Studio Code because it's cheap, because it's for free. So in order to verify the version, we're going to use again the terminal in case of the macOS. So press command space and write down the terminal and the terminal window will open just like this. So this should be familiar for you because in the previous uh, video I showed you how to install homebrew with this. So now let's verify the version. And here gets the tricky part. When you write the Python version, you will get the version of the Python interpreter installed in the computer. And as you can see, right now the version is 2.7.16. But during this course, as I mentioned in the first video, we're going to use Python 3.7.8, whatever version, but not Python 2. And, and that is because the macOS ships with the Python 2. But in the previous video, I showed you how to install the Python with the Homebrew and Homebrew installed also the Python 3 for us. So right now, when you go to Python 3 version, you will see the version 3.7.7 and this is exactly the version which we're going to use during all the future videos and during this tutorial and other future tutorials. Okay, so make sure you are using the Python 3.7. Again, in case of Windows, the same way, you just write out the Python and, and you will get the version, right? Or, oh, okay, right now, how are we going to run a script in the Python? So. Python uh, can execute code in uh, many ways, and one of the way is through the Python interpreter. Now, I will not go into the details of the Python interpreter and how things work in the Python interpreter. I will cover it in future videos. But uh, the only thing you need to know right now is how you launch the interpreter. So in order to launch the interpreter, you just write down Python, in this case, 3, because you are using Python 3 and you press enter. And as you can see, the Python version is being printed in the first row with the Python 3.7, in this case 3.7.7. And now you're running Python in your computer. So everything which I wrote, I will write right now is Python code. Okay, so let's start with your first ever code. So it will be simple. It's called the hello world. And you will meet a lot of many times with the hello world code during your learning of many different languages because it's like the traditional way how you will run your first code is to print the hello world in the language you are learning. So this uh, course won't be a, an exception and we're going to write the hello world. So how to do it? So in order to, you know, to print something in Python, you write the command print. It's fairly easy. And then you put the brackets, the round brackets, and inside the brackets, you specify what you want the Python to print. Okay. So uh, right now I want to print the hello world, like hello world. But the thing is, if you want to say something in Python, like a specific sentence, Python refers to this sentence as a string. So it's a data type called string. I will talk more about the strings later. The simple thing you need to know right now is if you want to print something, you need to put it in the double quotes like this, hello world. So now you print in the square brackets, in the round brackets with the quotes, the string hello world and you press the enter, <coughs> sorry. And hello, hello world. So this is your first Python command, your first Python script, one line script. So as you can see in the interpreter, you, whenever you write something in the line will be executed. So one line scripts are the best to run in the Python interpreter. Okay, but 
right now you are like, okay, well, Michal, this looks silly. How, what will I use print for, right? But print is a very strong tool in the Python and a lot of experts are using it daily for debugging the code, you know, to finding errors in the code. So keep in mind that the hello, uh, that the print command is one of the most essentials uh, in, the, in the programming world. Okay, let's dive into the Visual Studio code and talk about the things in the Visual Studio code. If you want to leave the interpreter, you just write down quit like this. And now you are back in, in, in the normal terminal. Okay, so now you, you shut down the interpreter. Well, let's talk about the Visual Studio code, as I mentioned. So in order to work with the Visual Studio code, you need to specify a folder, a work, working folder for the Visual Studio code. And you can create it easily with the, uh, with the finder. So if you go to the finder, you press command space, write down the finder and you open. Uh, just go to the documents and specify a Python folder for you. And the Python folder will be, uh, will be the, the place where we will work with the code, okay? So now go to the Visual Studio code and this is the welcome screen you will be greeted with. So in order to work with the folder which you created, you go to file and then you go to open. Well, let's go to file and open workspace and then open the Python folder. Open folder, documents, Python folder, open. So instead of workspace, you need to go to open folder and open the folder. So now at the left side, you will see the content of the folder. And on the right side, here is the welcome. You can close the welcome right now. So on the right side here in the middle, you will see the file which you are creating, okay? So left side is the folder. Right now, we need to create a Python file in order to run something in the Python, right? So just click this icon over here. It's called a new file and name the file. I will name it hello world.py. Okay, now the file extension, it's called the thing after the dot. Yes, with the dot. So in this case is the pi because I'm referring to a Python file. Yes. So just keep in mind whenever we will work with the Python, we will put that pi after the name of the file. Okay. So in this case, the name of the file is the hello world. The file extension is that pi because it's a Python file. Okay. Press enter. And here the hello.py will be opened for you. And this is a simple text editor. You can put there everything you want. And as you can see in the left corner, the Visual Studio code automatically recognize that we are going to use Python in this case, okay? Don't mind any warning at the right side, you can just keep them. Maybe you will be prompt to install the Python extension, which I mentioned in the video for the Visual Studio code. Please install the Python extension. Just a quick recap, you click here and you put here Python. Yeah, and I have it installed. So I can uninstall it. If you didn't install it before, you can click on the install and it will be installed for you, okay? So right now you go back to the file explorer here, the first, uh, you know, uh, thing in the tab, and, and then you click the hello world and you are back to the hello world. You can close the extension pane. We, we ain't gonna use it right now. Okay, so now we are in the file called hello world and we're gonna run the hello world. And do you remember how was the command? Yes, it was simple, it was just print and hello world, right? Let's put an exclamation mark. Some of the guys are writing the exclamation mark in the hello world, so let's put it there. Right, and now, well, if you press enter, nothing will happen, right? And this is the difference, one of the main differences between the interpreter and the Python file. So if you are running a code through the, through the interpreter, you can run only one line script and, but this is a file and in file you can specify as much code as you want and it won't be executed immediately. In order to execute this code, you need to click here and go run Python file in terminal. Now, 
before I click it, the thing is like, uh, Visual Studio Code has its own terminal. It's this thing over here. You can, cl you can close this warning. So in if you don't see this terminal, go to this pane, click the terminal, and, and then click the new terminal, and the terminal will appear for you, okay? So, but it's, it's here. If you are some, if you are in the pane called problems, just go to the pane called terminal, right? And as you can see, the first line of the terminal is exactly the same as the terminal in Mac. So if I go back to Mac terminal, it's, it's exactly the same. The name, the user, uh, the computer name, and the folder where we are located. Yeah, exactly, we are in the same folder right now. So the thing is, like, if you want to run this command in this terminal, you right click in the middle of the file and you run Python file in the terminal, right? And you click run. And as you can see, here it was run like some strange thing, some strange path, some strange command, and then the path to this file and the hello world was printed. Well, and now this can be quite mysterious for you, for the beginners. Don't worry, I will cover everything about the interpreter and, and the Visual Studio Code, how he's looking for the interpreter and things like this. The only thing you should know right now is like, we run the code, hello world, in the terminal from the Visual Studio Code. And now some of you, can ask me, well, Michal, you said there are two Pythons in the Mac, one which comes with the installation of the Mac, and the other one is the homebrew Python, which I installed. How does the, the Visual Studio Code know which I want to use? And the answer is simple. If you look left on the left button here, where the Python was written, uh, the version of the Python, which the Visual Studio Code is, is using, is written here. And it's 3.7.7, that's exactly the same Python, which I get after writing the Python version here, right? So the Visual Studio Code is using the right Python. If, because of some mistake, the Visual Studio Code is using the different Python, you can just click here and select the Python version which you are going to use. Yes, you can have here multiple times the same Python, so just run the user slash bin slash python3 version which is here okay click on it and it will be run okay guys so this was the hello world your first uh, uh, your first code in the python hope you understand everything if you don't feel free to ask me uh, feel free to write me a question uh, I will cover also some setups for the Windows, so don't worry if you are using Windows machines or the Linux machines. For the Linux machines, we can give just uh, the, the written tutorial because not many people are using Linux machines. So, so this was for Mac. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.